this as a critiquing video when I complain about a certain store. I recently went to a store called... Mm -hmm. Oh shit, it doesn't say what I mean. It says thank you. Oh well. Anyways. I recently went to a store called Play Me in a West Edmonton Mall. And, um, I got... I got a game called Spider-Man Web of Shadows, right? And, um, it... The graphics were really, really shitty, actually. It was like a Nintendo game, but the graphics were so shitty that I decided to return it. So, as a result, I went back and put it back. And I said, can I get my money back? And they said, no. You can only exchange this for another game. So I got Sims, the first one. And it didn't work on my PS2. At all. There, in fact, there were scratches on the actual game. And uh, so I was like, okay, I'll just return Sims one more time. And I asked the clerk, I said, I came here twice and uh, I came here and I had to return this game twice because it didn't work. I said, most games, like, you do buy the games off people, right? And they said, yeah. So I said, oh, okay, well, um, you buy the games off people. Do you, like, check if the scratches are, like, buffed first? They said, no, we don't buff it at all. Actually, we don't even check for scratches. We just get games. I was like, how do you know it's not going to work? They're like, oh, well, that's the risk you're going to have to take when you buy our games. I was like, okay, that's that's retarded. Because, like, I'm going to go in and buy a game, and it's not going to work. So I'm going to go return it, like, five different times until I get a game that works. It's bullshit. And then, so, I guess I ended up getting the game. And you should say, Lord of the Rings of Two Towers is the best video game that I have ever encountered. I mean, a lot like the movie, yeah, they show scenes from the movie, and yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty impressive, actually. So basically, I could go to Play Me, I can get all my broken games, I can give it to them, and they'll have to sell it. Because that's their policy, I guess. Just sell any games that they get, which is pretty shitty if you're a customer. 